huge one. Monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heralds. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Islands. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. It's almost quiet from up here. If only I didn't know better. Captain, your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true, but when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, Will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. got the bullets in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Rathen. But you beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much.
doing some remodeling. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet and all of my men, or else... <sighs> Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. From where I'm standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin? I think I'm starting to enjoy it. Consider this your formal surrender. The Syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die first. I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns. But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune.
mist. How is this possible?
Sarah. I came out of nowhere. I couldn't. Don't talk. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be... another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is, they're going to need help. They're going to need Malawi. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the goddess. Truth better. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. Unworthy. He is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the Goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. These streets are full of motion. Medicaboros smiles upon us. Why do you embrace these foreigners, Priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the Goddess. Or brew tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live. Walk among them. Learn from them. Maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their taverns. Do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of the street. Here, the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangi stink on us. <laughs> More for me then. Man, tell me, where can I find the Blood Harbor Ripper? Who's asking? I am Ilawi, truth bearer of Nagakaboros, champion of the Buru people. <laughs> sure, lady. And I'm the River King, Tom Kench. Buzz off. I'm trying to relax. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. Sorry. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. So, you're unworthy. Or just afraid. You see this sword? I've run it through hundreds of men. Most bigger than you. So how about you go on home? I thought you would be stronger.
I have no fear. all you have. I was just starting to enjoy myself. The Blood Harbor Reaper. Tell me. No one I know has actually seen him. Rumor is he stalks the alleys around the warrens. They say he ain't alive. Not really. Not alive. He has skin like a corpse. Cold. And his eyes are empty. Like a body pulled up from the sea. Which are trapped between life and death. An affront to the goddess. Fear. As a thing for captains. Find a captain and the Ripper won't be far behind, they say. Thank you, little man. Hey, you, uh, wanna stay a while? I never drank with a priestess before. <laughs> you break too easily. Commotion. My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Bhutu tradition. Let us search the warrens nearby. Now you face a truth bearer. for me.
never stop. I will teach you what I can. Then, or they will die. Now she pissed me off. Please don't! So afraid. 
So alone. But soon, Captain, you'll be crossed off my list. And you won't feel a thing ever again. What list? I, I, I've never seen you before in my life. I, I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years. Please! Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Hmm. Killing you would be fun. Oh. Meaningless. No. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? Now you face the truth then. And Father Mother Seven Secrets. <laughs> I call on the Mother Seven. Now face the test of the Mother Serpent. You will not survive her judgment. I... What... did you do to me? This cannot be. You are found worthy? But you are a monster! Goddess, what are you trying to show me? The Shadow Isles. Hang blank. A great test. Truth better. Goddess, help me understand. Priestess, are you hurt? How did the drowned one escape us? The goddess favored him. I do not understand. But you must. You are the truth better. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. Truth bearer. Welcome. Elder. I seek guidance. Speak, child. Tell me what troubles you. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge. And you do it well. But this Blood Harbor Ripper, I tested him. And the Goddess found him worthy. Curious, indeed. It makes no sense. He is no living man. And the unliving are shameful to our Goddess. How could he possibly pass her test? I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the goddess, but now I worry I have lost my way. My child, the Mother Serpent's will flows through all things. 
Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities and let the path present itself. But have I misjudged her will? If this monster is worthy, have I been wrong about others? If I gave the goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth bearer. Kilawi, I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you in the ways of Nagakaburo since you were a child. You are strong, and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything. Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The goddess sent me a vision, but I still need more. I need her guidance. Only the goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. I need to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But you must also find patience, truth bearer. Elder, I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed, and hope a path presents itself. Priestess! Hori! There's something you must see! That is quite a man. This is Elawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of the Freljord. The Freljord? You've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. A great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. It's really you? Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Now, be brave. I take good care of him until I return. I will. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Brom, you promised the impossible. Your heart is pure. The sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Brom, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous, even for you. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes a story is just a story. Rob will return with this blessed water. Then think of the stories they will tell, huh? <laughs>
you fought the Black Mist? Are you sure? Yes, and I will happily do so again. Uh, once I find a bigger boat. In the battle with the Mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. Malawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She requests an audience. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. What? The Black Mist. It has returned. Thank you, Bram. She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As Truthbearer, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. By helping you face the mist, I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. This will be quick. You are strong, but I am wrong.
all things in motion. Does your god ever test animals? Does my... No. No, Nagakaboros does not test beasts. That's a shame. Grom's known quite a few worthy Elmooks.
magnificent home. Like a palace. But what happened here? Something wicked passed through this place. Can you feel it? Stagnation and rot. Chloe, it's been a while. I was starting to think you were avoiding me. I have been busy maintaining harmony between the Buru and the people of your city. Perhaps you cannot see this from so high up on your throne. You've got reason to be cross with me. Bilgewater's changed since I took over. Not all for the better, I admit. Maybe you don't forgive me for killing Gangplank. I know that you two had something together once. But now that time's passed. I hope you can see why things had to go the way they did. Talk to me. I want to make things right between us. I am not blind, Sarah. I know that you did not call me here to settle our differences. Something terrible happened here. Someone attacked you. Not someone. Mistwalkers. They slaughtered my men. Last time, the city was overwhelmed by Black Mist. But this attack came from me. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. The Goddess granted me a vision. The Black Mist gathering in the Shadow Isles, growing more powerful, enveloping the world. A vision? I don't have time for your goddess's riddles, Alawi. Mistwalkers invaded my most secure headquarters, took out a dozen of my best men. Raffin nearly died. Don't underestimate me, Alawi. I'll do anything to make sure this never happens again. Rome, too, has battled the mist. I'm sorry. Who is this? It is I, Brom of the Freljord. Strong and dumb. Alawi, you have a type. Ram washed up this morning. The Black Mist attacked him at sea, near the Shadow Isles. But this is different. Years back, when we stopped the Harrowing in Bray Harbor, we thought we cleared it out. But what if we were wrong? We? You call yourself ruler of Bilgewater now. Why do you seek help from me? I thought I explained myself. I'll do anything to save my city and protect my crew. I'm going to be the kind of leader Bilgewater needs. But to do that, I need your help, dammit. I can't investigate Grey Harbor myself. I need to take care of the wounded and secure the city. I will go to Grey Harbor, because it is my sworn duty as Truthbearer to fight the Black Mist and because I believe the Goddess has set me on this path, not to help you. Whatever floats your boat, I'm grateful either way. If you or your handsome friend learn anything, you know how to find me. Handsome? Oh, what a spirited young woman. Beware. Sarah has not yet decided whether Bilgewater needs a peacemaker or an iron fist. So far, her justice always stinks of gunpowder and blood. Such interesting traits. We will investigate Grey Harbor. If the Black Mist has returned, I will drive it back as I have before. Grey Harbor. Huh? This place is cursed. We should be here. Heard Malik's got a meeting with Gangplank. His corpse, more like. Fortune part of a lie from his own ship. Everyone knows that. We'll probably get it worse. Funny thing about Grey Harbor. Sometimes the dead come back. I wonder. Some slack gangplank. You've been gone a long time. And you need every man you can get. <laughs> Maybe I'll we'll give my city back. Fortune survived. 
Those things you said only rattled the hornet's nest. Why, they're even more dangerous. That was just a taste of what's to come. You have what I asked for. It's all here. But what do you want with this old junk? You have no idea what you're looking at. These Buru artifacts are the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Be lucky if we survive long enough to see what you got planned. Relax. My work's almost done. When I return, I'll have the Black Mist under my control. We'll take my city back from Captain Fortune. Would have missed no friend from foe? It won't need to. Keep that around your neck. Tell your men to stay close. Don't do anything stupid. And the mists of Grey Harbor won't pay you any mind. Hey. If you're going back there, you'll need this more than me. <laughs> Not anymore. A tribute to the bearded lady. Just in case. Biltwater belongs to me, living or dead. That's my destiny. But if I never to sit on his throne again, my ally better hold up his end of the bargain.